Want a quick solution for cutting through metal? Stay tuned in because we're going to show you how. One common way to cut through metal is with a miter saw or others may call it a chop saw. With a chop saw, you, if you want to cut through metal, you got to have a metal cutting blade. The issue with that is unless you're at a shop and you work at one place, um, this could be an issue if you're going around different job sites and it could be somewhat challenging to set up a miter saw that takes extra time. Maybe you're in a tight corner where you can't really cut through metal easily. That's where we have a different solution. A pretty popular way to cut through thin pieces of metal, such as sheet metal, metal roofing, metal siding, is with these right here. Now, you could call it what you want. You could call it wire cutters, side cutting pliers, dog nips. Um, for this video, we're just gonna call this tin snips. These tin snips are very good for cutting through, obviously, thin pieces of metal, sheet metal. You gotta be very careful with these. Even though it's not a power tool, you still gotta be careful with cutting. And when you're cutting through sheet metal, your hand will be in the middle and you gotta be very careful so that the edges don't cut your hands up. That's why it's recommended to wear gloves when you're cutting through sheet metal, uh, sheet metal roofing, any type of thin metal with a tin snip because you don't want to cut yourself. You definitely don't want to rush a job and start being, oh, I got to finish this job in five seconds. Come on, let's hurry, hurry. Cut, 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 cut. You put it up and then you're bleeding everywhere. Now you got to go to the hospital. Hopefully it doesn't get to that point. But the point being is be very, very careful with tin snips. Still take it slow so that you could also have an accurate cut as well. Now where the usefulness of tin snips ends is when the metal you're cutting is a little bit thicker. As you can see right here, using tin snips to cut through even a sixteenth of an inch or a little bit thicker piece of metal, tin snips just won't cut it. You could try, but you're, it's going to take you an extremely long period of time and it could even break your tin snips. But what if you have to cut? metal in an odd corner like this or maybe you have to cut nails or screws in an odd corner like this and you don't want to damage the material behind it with a, you know a regular saw or an angle grinder or another power tool. Now in this case that's where an oscillating multi-tool comes in handy. With an oscillating multi-tool one thing to note when cutting steel sheetrock screws or metal you have to have a good quality blade. Most oscillating tool blades will not do the job this one right here is our high strength carbide oscillating tool blade. This blade is perfect for the job of cutting screws and nails, as you can see, seamlessly cuts through those. And it could cut a wide variety of materials, which we've mentioned in past videos. However, tin snips or aviation snips, whatever you call it, those are definitely not going to cut through hard nails or screws. Now in our past video, we have talked about tips and tricks on using an angle grinder. But as far as this video, with an angle grinder, you are almost guaranteed a straight cut. Hence, if you use the right techniques that we've described in our past video about angle grinders, and you have good handling with it, and maybe even you use the hand on it, use both your hands to cut the material. But with an angle grinder, it's very easy to make a straight cut. Not really the case with a reciprocating saw. An angle grinder is also a universal tool for cutting as well. Even if you have to cut down and cut, let's say, a piece of sheet metal, that is where an angle grinder, again, comes in handy and you don't have to pull out any special equipment to do the job. Just pull out an angle grinder and you can get the job done. Now with angle grinders, there are two types of wheels. You can get an abrasive cutoff wheel, which uh, can be good for cutting metal and is a popular choice for cutting through metal. And then you also have this tough grit diamond blade, which is also effective for cutting through metal and many other materials. With an abrasive cutoff wheel, they can tend to produce a lot of sparks and a lot of debris. And what's actually causing all those sparks when you're cutting through metal is not the actual metal, but the wheel itself, the carbon 
fibers that are in the wheel go into the air. It could go in your lungs if you're not wearing a respirator. However, that's not exactly the case with a diamond, this tough grit diamond angle grinder blade. And another thing about um, abrasive cutoff wheels as well is if you're new to angle grinders and you wanna ensure safety, um, these are more at risk of breaking as well. They're very lightweight and, and you can bend them easily, which can be dangerous. With the, this tough grit diamond wheel, you don't really have that. It's very tough and it's not gonna bend it, like an abrasive cutoff wheel. Now, when attaching the blade to the angle grinder, um, what you wanna do is to make sure that the angle grinder is unplugged. This is to ensure that it's not turned on while you change the blade and you don't want any accidents to happen. And then also you push this button on the back, which is typical on most angle grinders. You turn the wheel and then you can replace your blade from there. Now, right here, you can see we're using the abrasive cutoff wheel for cutting through this metal stud right here. As you can see, quite a bit of sparks is seen. And then also when using the tough grit diamond wheel, the diamond blade, this doesn't produce as many sparks and is also quite safe. Now always make sure to wear safety glasses and gloves when using an angle grinder and also long sleeves and pants so that the debris doesn't shoot into your body. However, if you're cutting, let's say a metal plate like this, a reciprocating saw is, again, it's gonna make it all wobbly and will pose as a safety hazard and will make you not have a straight cut. Again, this is where an angle grinder definitely comes in handy. And with this tough grit diamond blade, it could also cut through fiber cement, trim, siding, and even wood. And in our past video, we've shown it cut tile as well. It could cut all sorts of materials as well. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the bell icon so you're notified every time we post a new video about angle grinders, oscillating multi-tools, and cutting instructional videos and so on. And also comment down below what your thoughts are. If you have any questions, we'll make sure to answer them for you and perhaps make a future video. As for now, have an excellent day and see you in the next video.